Hi there. Today I'd like to show you a very useful utility function of the Moog Mother 32. In the lower half of the picture you see an oscilloscope displaying the triangle LFO of this Mother 32 module. And at the moment the LFO rate knob is at 12 o'clock and that corresponds to like 7 or 8 hertz. And if you go all the way clockwise up to 5 o'clock then the maximum is like 293 hertz and the minimum LFO rate is around 0.1 hertz so a cycle rate of about I don't know 8 to 10 seconds as you can see here quite slow now many users want the LFO to go far 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 below this 0.1 hertz to so have very 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 slow uh, moving LFOs and um, one way to do this is to use the LFO rate input and use an external offset module like for example uh, uh, maths or, or shades or something like that but you can also do it just with one mother and and some some internal patching of the mother itself and um, the trick to do this is once again to use the assignable output which is very very useful in general and um, I've already entered the assignable output setup menu here so you see the LED number one is blinking in yellow that means uh, assignable output option one is programmed now that is accent and the, the blue graph here displays the voltage of the assignable output and this is currently at zero volts, especially because the sequencer isn't running at all. And now you should know that on the second page, among the options 9 to 16, there are six options um, that are uh, suitable for MIDI that you normally don't need if you don't use the MIDI input and MIDI velocity and, and all that. So... Um, a MIDI velocity of zero, for example, corresponds to minus five volts. And if I now program with shift option number 10, you see the assignable output dropping to minus five volts. This is also too true for option 11, 12 is at zero, 13, 14, 15, 16. All of these MIDI options are at minus 5 volts per default. So now you have a, a source, a minus 5 volt steady source within your Mother32 and you can simply use this minus 5 volts as an input into the LFO rate and you see the maximum rate is now at 11 to 12 Hertz. The 12 o'clock value is already below one hertz so it's a cycle time of around three seconds and if you go all the way counterclockwise to uh, seven o'clock then you see a very 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 slow moving LFO and I think the cycle time is around 15 minutes I haven't really checked it should be should be long enough for most of you so this is very useful in my eyes if you can sacrifice the assignable output for this purpose. That means you cannot program an accent for example or a different uh, clock divider or something like that. And of course you cannot use these these MIDI signals or, or this, this one MIDI signal, MIDI velocity or CC value 147 or something like that. But in, in the normal situation I would say most users don't really use this MIDI channel and can use the assignable output as a steady voltage source. So for me the main usage is indeed lower the LFO rate but you could even do some other things with it. If you use the VC mix for example I'm now mixing the normal the normal triangle LFO with the minus 5 volts through the mix 1 and mix 2 input and what you see here is the VC mix output lower it a little bit 
like this. And now if I if I add negative voltages here, I can dial in an LFO that is cycling between zero and minus five like this, which is very nice because now you have an LFO in a different uh, voltage range. And you could do the same for the square wave LFO. So the square wave cycles between zero and minus five volts roughly, which could be very useful. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.